What is up, everybody? This is your host, Superstar, and I have just finished watching Frozen 2. So it's been interesting because I had never seen Frozen number one until yesterday. So I've watched them back to back. I just saw Frozen 1 yesterday, and then today, well, technically the 11th of May 2020, although now it's, well, it started it in the 11th of May 2020, and then it went over. But anyway, yeah, it was, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, and it's incredible. It's the 10th highest grossing movie of all time in that and yeah yeah so it was really cool watching it it was yeah it was like that man that because i actually watched it with glasses and that which i don't know where i put them but that they made it bit either they go like this so i watched it with the glasses on and it which helped me my eyes see things clearer in that and man the special effects were just sublime they were just so spot on they're just it was so cool so clever and it was cool sort of building on the characters, how they'd done it in the previous one, and Cheeky, Olaf, the snowman, very, very awesome, uh, just so many great entertaining comments all throughout it, so, like, yes, and, you know, the the special effects, like, with the fire and that, it was so, wow, you know, and even the ice and all that, it was so cool, and then they had a, even, they had a reference about, oh, some Danish writer or something, and, and I was like, oh, I know, I know, I know what they're meaning there, so, yeah, it was really, really, really well done yeah just it just fitted in so well like you know with the you know with the song at the start and then I was like oh that fits in perfectly in that I don't know I was just I was just very impressed I was very impressed by it I think I think I probably like the second one more than the first one to be honest I don't know it, it feels that it feels so short I don't know if that's anything to do with the movies themselves or if it's just the fact that I'm just so since I like string for four hours and stuff like that, everything sort of just feels shorter and that. I don't know, because it's just like, I don't know, the movie, well, the first one felt so short. It's like, it's just like the the story adventure just began and then it was over. But I mean, the movie was just, like, I mean, it is is the same as lots of movies around that two hour mark and that. I wonder how they decide, like, where to do it. Because it would be so easy to just add in heaps more footage in that, you know? Because you'd, you'd always, I wonder if they have a target goal and then they work backwards from that and try and get it in that, and the song, spot on, spot on, there we go, that was, that was really, really something, the songs, are, oh man, it was just, I don't know, I, I don't really know what to say, it was just, it was just very pleasant, I can see, because, you know, in, in New Zealand, I'm not sure if it's, anyway, in New Zealand, we've got different ratings than that, I can see why they rate it PG, it was certainly, there was a whole heap more moments where, it was like, doo doo, and the, the forest, sort of just like, shoo, you know, versus the first one, I could definitely see it. Well, it was a bit of a step up, and that. But yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just sort of was pleasantly surprised by it. Pleasantly surprised, and it was nicer knowing that it came out just recently. Well, kind of in November 2019, and that, and they weren't going to release it on Disney Plus till June 2020. But due to COVID, they they released it back in. Oh, was it? Oh, it was either. I think it was March 20, 2020, or, or, yeah, I think March 2020 in that, so, yeah, I was like, just got it in time, otherwise I wouldn't, it would be then, it would be like another month or so before it was released in that, so, it's done incredibly well, and, yeah, um, Bob Iger, I think that's how you say his name, it's I-G-E-R, anyway, he's done wonders for Disney, honestly, he's just CEO since 2005, and, you know, to 2020 in that, and now since COVID's been, he's he's sort of resumed, you know, he's, you know, in acquired Pixar and Marvel and Lucasfilms and, you know, got on well with, oh, was it Roy E. Disney, the nephew of Walt Disney. And that, you know, is, I don't know, you know, and, and it was this, an, an, an apple and that, and it was just like, he's certainly, he's done an incredible job. So, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really know what to say about the movie, I don't know, I just, I'm just like, pleasantly surprised, I don't know, like, if you said, oh, what about this bit, what about this, if it, it's, I don't know, I don't know, it's sort of, it's like in tests, if someone's just like, what do you think of it, it's like, it was good, you know, it's like, and then, but they're like, they want, you know, you want to know more information, but it's like, unless you ask me specific questions, I can't, because I just, it's hard to just sort of build on it, like, I just point out a few of the things I remember, but it's sort of not like, not like a proper answer, like, you know, but in this, and what do you think of that? I'm just trying to think of some other, you know, yeah, I don't know, I just, I thought it was really well done, and the, 
the characters were built on in that. I don't know. It's yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought it just it, it fitted in nicely. I don't know. It feels like, for example, like the. I don't know. I feel like Elsa. It's just I don't know. It's almost like as if she's the one I sort of least know or least understand. I don't know. It's just like the other ones sort of they they have sort of their personalities come out, but like she's sort of like sort of withdrawn a bit. I don't know. It's just. Cause yeah, I, so you feel like you know I understand you understand you understand you and it's sort of like she's just sort of in her own own wee world I guess uh, yeah uh yeah I don't know but yeah I don't know I'm just trying to think of what to say it was just yeah I I don't, I don't know what yeah it was just I don't know I don't know what to say I don't know what to say I just thought it was a good movie and yeah it was just well done. Special effects were spot on, you know, it's just, uh, you know, well done story, you know, great, you know, humor throughout it, you know, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't really know what else to say, so I think I'll just sort of keep it brief then, because I don't just want to say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I did enjoy it, I did enjoy it, so it was a good movie, it was a good movie, it was really well done, with a team of about 800 that's like insane, and like eighty of which were animators. So, it's a lot of animators. Just trying to remember what else. Yeah, and then the yeah the the main team working on it worked really well together. So yeah, I I thought it was a well done movie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It would be interesting because what would be like the because like for example, if FIFA were like four when the because it was six years difference, end of twenty thirteen and end of twenty nineteen, so six years difference. So I wonder what would be be the perfect age to sort of watch the first one and then watch the second one. Because I don't know, like if you're like on the older, I don't know, because I just feel like you know if you're sort of you know cars. Well, I don't know when cars one and two and three, but uh, one and two was like seemed so close, so it was sort of like it would massively target the same age range. But for example, if you release one movie and then release another one years later, especially if it's sort of a kid targeted movie, lots of those kids grow up and maybe are less likely to watch it. Although, well, Star Wars, it wasn't a kid targeted movie, but you know everyone was still want to watch that back, even though they watched it when it came out. You know, but yeah, because I mean like. If you were 10 when the first one came out, you'd be 16 now, you know, or if you were 4 when the first one came out, you'd be 10 now, and yeah, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just think they, they portray, I don't know, they just make, like, everything so wonderful and perfect in the Disney movies, just everyone, like, I don't know, it's just like, everything's just happy non-stop, I don't know, it's like, man, I don't know, it's, and it's so crazy thinking that everyone from around the world you know, from their different lives, you know, with their different perspectives, you know, and their different lifestyles, different ages, you know, all see the same movie, you know, from all these different, all their different, you know, with everything, you know, unique about the, probably, I don't know how many watched it, but millions, I don't know, a billion, I don't, probably not a billion, maybe a billion, mm. no, I don't think a billion, I don't think a billion, but uh, yeah, maybe, anyway, but huge, like, millions, tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, you know, of people watch that exact same movie. It's kind of crazy to think so many people watch one given event. Like, I, I think I remember reading that, like, uh, Prince William and Kate's Royal Wedding was one of the most viewed televised events, as was Muhammad Ali fights and stuff like that, you know, but, you know, and, for, and I guess Frozen would be quite high up there in that, but it, it's just, it fascinates me, like, every single person would... If you, it's the same movie, and everyone, you know, watches it, you know, and, and probably takes different things out of, out of what they see out of it, but, yeah, I think it's just, it's just really cool, it's, yeah, I don't know, it's just like, man, I, you know, it's like, oh, I can't, can't, like, you know, this world be a little bit more, you know, <laughs> like, Disney World-like, Frozen-like, you know, I don't know, I don't know, it's just... It's just such a happy place there. You know, everything's just, you know, the people, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You just don't see, like, the, all the towns always, like, just problems and all that. It's just happy. To, I mean, of course, that's, of course, you could easily do that when you're, like, a, an animator and the whole thing's, you know, a story. But, I don't know. It's just, yeah. I just thought it was, yeah, it's really neat. 
yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say. There's sort of more things. I'll probably mention them as I premiere it and, and chat them through. And that, yeah, all I will say is I really did enjoy the movie. Thought it was a good movie. Thought it was a very well-made movie. Yeah, and it's cool that I watched it kind of when it came out. I mean, a few months later, but kind of. And that, I'll try and do that with future movies when they come out. Like, watch them as they come out. I've only done that with a couple of Star Wars ones. But apart from that, I don't really, I haven't really done that. But I'll try to do that and, like, like oh, I watched this one when it came out. <laughs> anyway, that is going to wrap up this video. And, yeah, yeah, there we go. That is what I thought of Frozen 2. And you're welcome to leave your uh, comments on what you thought of it. And, and yeah, anyway, have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. See you later.